Nevada. Okay, uh, Alex, don't go anywhere because I want to bring into our conversation now Eleanor Clift, political columnist for the Daily Beast. And with a welcome to you, my friend. How has the country's Hi. perception of Clinton changed since 08? Well, I think in 08, uh, the country saw her as uh, the scrappy uh, uh, fighter who almost won the election, and I think a lot of uh, the primary election, I think a lot of Democrats were torn between uh, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. And then she went on to uh, be part of, of rivals, you know, making up with her. The man who beat her, serving as his secretary of state, she has won you know, almost universal plaudits, I think, for the way she communicated uh, herself in this country to the rest of the world. And we have seen some of that um, uh, support for her erode as she be gets closer to becoming a declared political uh, candidate. And, and, and why, I think why is that, though? Do you think it's because some people see this long, drawn-out well, process as being sort of a, a coronation of sorts? Well, yeah, I mean, it looks like, uh, you know, Queen Hillary is coming out to the stage that she deserves it and she thinks she deserves it. And I think she's got to uh, understand that she has to reintroduce herself to every single uh, voter. I think she herself understands that while she may be perhaps the most well-known woman in the world, uh, she is rather a figure of mystery to a lot of people in this country. There are all kinds of narratives about her. She and her husband are, are scheming. She's, uh, you know, ra raised money uh, perhaps through uh, means that uh, crossed over some line. She's accepted huge fees for, for speeches. How can she represent the working class person? So she's got to sort this all out and um, she's got to run a campaign that's really going to, ma has to manage a huge media presence. I mm -hmm. mean, she's like the battleship Galactica arriving and yet she wants to have these intimate events with reporters. So how she uh, keeps a certain amount of mystery with her campaign we're seeing that this weekend. You know, when is she going to announce yeah. and, and the secrets that they're keeping? Now, maybe this is good. Maybe this is bad. I'm yeah. not so sure. And I think um, there might even be a little danger of overcompensating. When over in 08, she came across as the, you know, the commander in chief. Uh, there was no difference between her, perhaps, and a man who might be running for president. Now she's all in as a grandmother. And you know, I'm not so sure we want to elect a grandmother <laughs> president either. She's got to find that that balance where she's running for. And she's got to offer a, a compelling vision for how she wants to lead the country. And yeah. I think that's the most important thing. What, what about the Clinton camp's ground operation, Alex? At this point, can they just charge right out of the gate? just got off the phone with somebody in Iowa who has uh, been plugged in with the Clinton campaign there. They have been training staffers for the past two days in Des Moines and they sent them all out to their posts all around the state today. Uh, so they have at least 20 staffers already on the ground who are being sent out all across the state fanning out. So when the moment that she arrives in Iowa there will already be an operation in place. Uh, you know, these aren't, they're, they're volunteers currently at the moment because the campaign does not exist but uh, there will be an effort to make sure that people come to those events, that they're well attended, that they are, uh, you know, well organized and well produced. But of course, you don't want to go too well produced. You don't want to look too uh, stage managed. But uh, certainly by the time she gets to Iowa, her campaign team will already be in place to a large degree. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, Eleanor, give me a sense of the kind of support that Hillary Clinton has on Capitol Hill. Oh, I think uh, in the Congress, I mean, she was a she was a very well liked senator who worked across uh, party lines. Uh, all of the female uh, Democratic senators uh, wrote a letter many months ago saying they would all support Hillary Clinton. I don't think Capitol Hill is is her is her problem at all. I mean, I think she's got uh, congressional support behind her, and uh, her 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 problem really is getting the same level of excitement that Barack Obama was able to achieve in 08 and even again in, in 12. Can she, can she reassemble that coalition of women, young people, minorities? Okay. And uh, that's, all that that's her challenge. And that all <laughs> remains to be seen. All right, right. Alex Seitzwald and Eleanor Cliff, thank you both so much. Eleanor, I know we'll see you later on in the show. Mm -hmm. President Obama